Become an elite warrior of the Emperor's Legion with the Sardaukar Operator Skin and three blueprints worthy of the Imperium. This is the Dune Part 2 Sardaukar Pack. Checking out the new Dune bundle, we have the Sardaukar Operator looking very nice, very clean. He also comes with the Sardaukar's Wrath Finishing Move. You gain access to the Sardaukar's Annihilator Protuned Tempest Razor Pack Blueprint, the Last Fire SO14 Battle Rifle, and the Dual Kadachis Kinjal. Other items in this bundle include the Sardaukar Sword Weapon Charm, the Sardaukar Weapon Sticker, the Arrakis Loading Screen, and the Sardaukar Emblem. All of these items do carry forward into Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, and Warzone Mobile. So with that being said, let's purchase the bundle and check it out. Here's a good look at our new Sardaukar Operator. And, you know, it's kind of in this intimidating stance. You can see it's got this three-line symbol on the chest. I apologize. I don't know very much about Dune. I have not read the books. I have not seen movies. So I can't commentate too much on the skin. But it does feel it feels like they put in some effort you know it's it's got a good texture going on the uh on the helmet there uh, all the line work looks really clean on it it looks like they put a good amount of detail into the suit looking at the back here you can even see the wires coming from the helmet into the into the suit itself again i don't know too much about dune but the skin feels it to me it feels like they put a lot of effort into it i feel like doom fit uh, Dune fans will be happy with it. Here's our first look at our new Sardaukar's Wrath finishing move. First on a standing up operator. That is a fast finishing move. Next on a proned operator. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. And finally, on a downed operator. Ooh. That one might be my favorite. That was pretty cool. All right, taking a look at the Sardaukar Annihilator Blueprint. This is, again, on the, if I can remember, the Tempest Razorback. Uh, honestly, I think it looks pretty clean. It's got some blood splatter on it. You know, it's got that same three-line marking that is on the Operator skin. It has the Sardaukar logo. I believe that's what the two T's is up there on the front. Um, pretty clean sight. It's got a laser on it. Uh, again, this is protuned, so it is a pretty good blueprint if you are looking for a good Tempest Razorback. Moving over to the Laser Rifle SO14. Again, this is a battle rifle blueprint, so it starts off in single fire. It does have a full auto option, but for most battle rifles, it's not really recommended. It has all the same designs as the other blueprint, the same logos on it. Uh, it does have blood splatter up by the front. I'm not sure if it has that three-lined logo. I imagine if it does, it would be on the... Oh, there's one underneath the site. You can kind of see it in the bottom right over by where the gun is on the UI. Hard to see if I can get in the light. There it is. Uh, I also imagine it'd be on the front of the barrel. That seems to be where they put a lot of things on drum barrels. The blueprint itself, not too bad. There's not too many SO14 blueprints, so if you're missing one and you need to level this gun up still, pick up the Doom bundle. This will work just right for you. Here we are taking a look at the Kinja Dual Kadachis. This is actually a very, very cool Dual Kadachis blueprint. I like these a lot. They're very slim swords compared to any other Dual Kadachi blueprints you'll find. Um, and they just seem to fit. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like them in the menu. But holding them in game, they work really well. Um, I think they look super cool. They're very minimal. Uh, and they look really good with camos. So we'll head over and check out the camos next. Here's how blueprints are going to look on your Sardaukar Annihilator. Starting with Gold, Platinum, Polyatomic, and Orion. Uh, gold actually looks really good. Platinum... Polyatomic and Orion, I'm not too much of fans of on this blueprint. I think there's too much left over being in like the grip, the the barrel, the under barrel, you know, the edge of the mag, the top and back of the stock, the blood spatter. There's way too much left over here that just isn't setting well on the blueprint that I actually think kind of works well with gold, you know, just the color screen that it has. As far as other camos are concerned, your solid camos. These don't look too bad. Um, you know, the off-colored ones, like this clay camo, actually looks really good because of the, the 
colors on the stock. Scarlet is always going to look good with anything that has blood spatter on it, in my opinion. Um, something like pine matches really well with the camo. Olive matches really well with the cam uh, with the textures. Um, white out is going to look pretty good on this. Uh, you can't. I would say you can get by with slate even. You know, all those ones that don't look too good on other blueprints surprisingly look pretty darn good with these. Moving over to our event camos that you tend to cover up a bit more. You have the same issue as the mastery camos where they aren't covering enough um, to the point where it's a hindrance. You can get some real good camos that aren't looking very good at all just because of the leftover textures on the stocks, the grips. You know, it's the little things like that that can make or break the camo. Vought International doesn't look too bad, actually. You know, looking at our special camos for the CDL, same issues. They're not covering enough. The blood spatter up here kind of ruins it for me most of the time. Uh, this is how a ranked camo is going to sit. The Season 2 ranked camos on this. Not its strong suit. This is a pro tuned blueprint, as I was saying, for aiming stability, damage range, and recoil control. So if you wanted to edit this and make it a different class, this is what it's going to look like without its attachments. Iffy. You lose all the blood spatter that was on the barrel. Um, lose a little bit of the stock. You lose the under barrel. Kind of slims it down and makes it a little more clean. Makes the camos work just a little bit better. So if you were to take this and you were to make it into a meta build... Um, if I just throw some random attachments on here, we'll see. I'll leave the mag uh, stock and we'll go optic. You know, whatever, whatever. They can look pretty decent if you, if you try. Moving over to our laser rifle, checking out the camos on this thing. Um, I haven't worked with the battle rifles very much, so this isn't even gold yet, but gold actually looks super clean on it. Um, Platinum, Polyatomic, and Orion. I have the same issue as I did with the gun before. You know, the blood spatter just, it just doesn't work for me. It's too much. The texture's a little off. I do think the symbol fits well. Both, both symbols, but the blood spatter is just a little too much. Going over to our solid camos, uh... You know, same as before, the kind of off camos I think work the best. Uh, clay, hunting orange, uh, pine, olive. Uh, Pink-ish kind of looks okay. Sand is pretty good. Um, white out. Unplumbed, maybe. Maybe, if you're confident in the unplumbed camo. The event camos. Uh, blood cell fits pretty well on it just because everything blends in. But moving past that, um, Serpentine, I guess, looks pretty well on this gun. Skull Eater, maybe. Um, Vought International, I think, looks okay. Nothing crazy going on there. And same issues before with the specials, where I think the Blood Spider just kind of ruins it. This is what your gun's going to look like if you remove all the attachments on it. And, you know, seeing this here, if you were to try to make a... You know, like a random build with any attachments to make something a little more meta. You'll keep most of the white. You'll keep the symbol on the back. So, unless you change the stock completely. Yeah. So, that's going to be the main way you lose stuff is if you change the stock completely. But besides that, I think the blueprint's going to look fine with a meta meta build as meta as you can get for the SO14. Checking out camos on our third and final blueprint is the new dual Kadachis blueprint and I'm actually really liking how camos work on this thing because the secondary camo texture is the handle and the primary camo texture is the entirety of the blade not the edge of the blade not the back of the blade the entirety of the blade um, and on stuff like polyatomic and Orion, where you can see a distinct difference in the two textures. I think it works really, really well. Um, especially when you get into areas of like the special camo. You have a solid colored base with the multicolored blade. Um, these all work really, really well. And at this point, it's just what color scheme do you like best? And that's the camo you're going to like the most. 
and even getting to the you dropped this camo with the solid gold hilt and the crowns going up the blade you know it looks pretty good if we look at our event camos um again with that secondary texture i think a lot of these look phenomenal blood cell bowling blossom uh eddie's eddie supreme uh you know the aether wave looks good galvanic i wish was flipped i think would look pretty cool uh ghoulie phenomenal serpentine looks pretty good kind of an oil dipped blade look skull eater 10 out of 10 the boys looks great um bought international always looking pretty good surprisingly and even on your solid colors the hilt staying black and the blade changing color is perfect i wouldn't have liked if the entirety of the blueprint changed but the fact that it's just a blade so you can have this pinkish blade and the black handle or the white blade and the the black handle you know it it all looks great it's perfect not the best weapon to inspect on, but once it flips over here, you'll get a good look at the Sardark Sword Weapon Charm and the Sardark Sticker. The minimal design of the Sword Charm is one that I've really enjoyed. It's something super simple. It's like the 50 cal bullet. You know, it, it just hangs on the gun. Um, it's not huge. It's not like a, an entire person. Um, it's just something super simple. That just hangs there discreetly. It doesn't get in the way. I really enjoy this weapon charm. The sticker, on the other hand, it's you know it's got a nice red gold vibe to it. It's a nice good version of the logo. Fast hands. Let's go. Yeah, it's a it's a very nice view on the logo itself. I think it's a pretty good sticker for the bundle. I can't see myself using it too much, but I definitely think it works. The Sardark logo from the charm and the sticker it reminds me way too much of the tim the tatman logo so you could probably get this sticker and throw it on a tim the tatman blueprint and it might look pretty good and people wouldn't even realize the difference unless they you know really looked at it here's a good look at our arrakis loading screen um you know it's pretty simplistic you know it's got that topography look it says dune it looks like sand dunes it's a simple loading screen we're glad we have it. Here's a good in-game look at the Sardark animated emblem. It's good, unique. It's got a little bit of a flame effect going on in the background. A nice little flash. Uh, it's it's pretty good. It's a solid emblem compared to most in the game. I like it a lot. I don't know much about the Dune franchise, but I definitely think this is a solid bundle. If you're a fan of Dune, um, if you enjoy the, you know, the aspects around it, or if you like the vibes that this bundle gives off, I definitely think this is for you. For me personally, the melee blueprint, the execution, the weapon charm, uh, of course, the loading screen. One of my favorite things about this game is just being able to customize your loading screens. It's one of my favorite things about Apex. It keeps the game fresh for me. Those four things in particular, with an honorable mention to the charm and emblem because of their design aspects, those are my favorite things. Off those alone, I was willing to get this bundle and review it. On screen now is our official group sharpshooters. Feel free to join up. Find someone to play with. Modern Warfare 3 is right around the corner, so get to grinding. Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more just like this. All the usual links are down in the description, so feel free to check those out to keep up with me and anything Call of Duty. And with all that being said, I will see you next time.